uh, number one is a 200 to one chance. Ancy Swatil, ridden by David Bridgewater, a Mancio at 33 to one. Mark Perrett, possible front runner in Anzem at 15 to two. Warren Marston, Astral Invasion, 200 to one, uh, with Joe Lodder. Backgammon doesn't take part, but number six is Balanac, and that's the four to one favourite now, ridden by Mark Wire. Brave Tornado at 10 to one. Tony McCoy, Clifton Beat at 16 to one. Graham McCourt, Doctor Lined at 33 to one. Now ridden by Tom Horgan, gobsmacked 100 to one. Tony Dobbin. Number 11 is Gold Narrow, that's ridden by Graham Bradley at 20 to 1. Greenback 10 to 1, Peter Hobbs. Kiss Air 16 to 1, Jonathan Lower. The Majestic Man 12 to 1, partnered by Terry Mitchell. Mam Noon, who's blinkered, is 250 to 1 chance, ridden by Diane Clay. Marlino, partnered by Carl Llewellyn, is currently 66 to 1. Nashville Star at 100 to 1, Mick Fitzgerald. Ozzy Jones at 100 to 1, uh, Billy Worthington. Shufk at 50 to 1, Richard Dunwoody. Silver Wedge, who's blinkered uh, today, at 7 to 1 chance, written by Norman Williamson. Then Stompin, written by Jamie Osborne, and uh, they're currently 14 to 1. Sweet Trentino is 200 to 1, Dean Gallagher. Tucano is partnered by Conor O'Dwyer at 100 to 1. Uncle Doug is 20 to 1, Peter Niven rides, none the worse for his tumble yesterday. Glamour Game doesn't take part. But uh, three fillies now completing the lineup, and they're all trained in Ireland. Uh, number 26 is Gloriette at 50 to 1, Kieran Mayer. 37, Ladies' Vision, 14 to 1, Kevin O'Brien. And number 28, not complaining, but 25 to 1, ridden by uh, Tom Treacy. That's the lineup then for this Daily Express Triumph Hurdle. It's over an extended two miles. Here's the latest betting. Balanac is the clear favourite at 4 to 1. Silver Wedge at 7 to 1. It's then 8 to 1 Anzum from 15 to 2, showing at 10 to 1 Brave Tornado and Greenback. Majestic Man is a 12 to 1 chance. On 14, Stompin and Ladies Vision. Clifton Beat and Kisser both at 16 to 1, and it's 20 to 1 bar. Well, that's it. They're off and running eventually for the Daily Express Triumph Hurdle as they come down towards the first. Uh, Ashley Invasion showing prominently through on the inside. Stompin's in a good position in yellow. Balanax up there early, also Anson on the outside. And uh, we have a faller at the first. And it looks as if Ladies' Vision was a faller at the first. Come through uh, down towards the second, and it's uh, Greenback and Stompin and Kisser, the three who share the pace. Uh, the horse is OK. At this stage, Kevin O'Brien still on the ground. It's Greenback leading from Kisser, Silver Wedge racing fast, Golden Arrow, Ansi Swatil, one of the rank outsiders is up there, stomping through on the inside, Dr. Lloyd in behind these, also Ozzy Jones mid division with Amancio. At this stage, Balanac is tucked in uh, halfway down the pack and they take the second, and it's Ansi Swatil and Greenback who plays the trail. At the rear of the field, Mam Noon was a little bit untidy, and it's a Greenback that gained the day from Ansi Swatil, then Stompin and Silver Wedge and Golden Arrow and Kisser. Uh, following these through is Nashville Star on the outside of Tucano and with these not complaining but Dr. Lloyd runs the rail followed by Shufk and Balanac and then Clifton Beat and then comes Ozzy Jones and Anson who normally front runs got nowhere near the front at this stage Amancio behind that one and uh, Tucano is one of the back markers so too is Uncle Doug Brave Tornado is near last and first and Gloriette is plumb last as they race away and down towards the next on towards the third, Ansi Swatil, the leader from Greenback. One of the fancied runners, Anzum, just can't go the early gallop at this stage. He's buried right out the back. Balanac, the favourite, in the midfield, but on the wide outside with a clear run. It's Greenback in the blue jacket with the red spots that just has the lead now. Peter Hobbs, Ansi Swatil in second on the outside. The orange jacketed, Silver Wedge in third. And then stomping towards the near side. Kisser is handy. Schufk is moving forward on the outside. And a line of almost four or five. Stomping going strongly in that yellow jacket near side, but it's still Ansi Swatil in the green and black that leads just from green back in second. Schuf landed in third as they fly over another. Right out the back at this stage is Brave Tornado, another fancied runner, that one struggling to go the pace as they climb on the far side now, and very well grouped still, and uh, there's uh, trouble there, a loose horse has gone through the rail, or was it uh, a horse with a rider, I think, on board, went through the rail there, that'll be disqualified for sure, but up towards the, the flight at the top of the hill, it's green back who just leads from Ansi Swatil, Schuf is next. I uh, fancy Balanac hit that one in about eighth place, and now he's just pushed along the favourite. They reach.
reached the top of the hill and it's green back on C. Swatil, Shufkin third, Stomp in four, then Silver Wedge back in fifth place. That's the leading five as they reach the top of the hill. Uh, make a left handed turn at the top of the hill and it's still green back and on Swatil and Shuf racing prominently. Stomp in the yellow and black runs the rail, Silver Wedge in orange starts to pick up on the outside. Ballonat going well and Mancio starts to pick up from the back. Dr. Lloyd isn't uh, far out of it either. Marlino, one of the outsiders, and gobsmacked his bang there too. And Kisser is coming with a run, but it's Greenback now uh, who goes for home. He's committed now on Greenback in the blue colours who spearheads the field. Further left in the white sleeve jacket, that's Kisser. And this is the second last. It's Greenback and Silver Wedge. And Kisser the outside and Mancio in behind these. Clifton Beat starts to pick up. And there's it's Kisser and Silver Wedge who do battle as they make this now very long run towards the final flight. And it's Kisser and Jonathan Lara in the lead from Silver Wedge in second as they come down towards the final flight. Clifton Beat in the pink jacket is starting to stay on. Stomping the horse in the orange, the yellow colours is there with chances and Dr. Lloyd starts to pick up too. But uh, Kisser has gone four clear as he comes down towards the final flight in the Daily Express Triumph Herd and it's Kisser. A bar of four clear by six. Dr. Lloyd, the horse with the big white face is staying on. This is the last and it's Kisser. Oh, we met it very awkwardly. Dr. Lloyd met it running. Then Silver Wedge and Clifton Beat and as they race up the hill, it's Kisser with Dr. Lloyd, the horse with the big white face, putting in a tremendous late work. But Kisser and on the very wide outside, it's going to be Kisser who's coming home from Dr. Lloyd. Kisser, Dr. Lloyd and Silver Wedge as they race up towards the line. Kisser takes it. Dr. Lloyd is second with his third Silver Wedge and some absolutely flew at the death to be fourth. And then came Gloria, Clifton Beat and Ray Tornado and Green back and behind these came Shoot, followed by Balanac and Amancio and uh, then came Godsmack. And behind Gobsmack was Nandun, who beat quite a number, who include Gold Narrow, Marlino, not complaining, but well out the back was uh, Stompin eventually and looking down. I can see that Uncle Doug has pulled up and one of the last to finish was Sweet Trentino. And so the result then of this, the Daily Express Triumph Hurdle, it's a win for number 13, which is Kisser, in the colours of Terry Benson, trained by Martin Pipe and ridden by Jonathan Lur. Second horse home is number nine, Dr. Lloyd, one of the Philip Hobbs trio. Third horse home, that's number 20, Silver Wedge, blinker for the first time with Norman Williamson. And the fourth horse home is Anza. And uh, where on earth did he come from? Nashville Star was the horse, we think, that uh, ran out at the top of the hill. Um, the result, though, number 13, Kisser at 16 to 1. Second, number 9, Dr. Lointe at 33 to 1. Third, number 20, Silver Wedge at 7 to 1. And the fourth horse, number 3, Anzum at 9 to 1. The win tote paid 24 pounds, places 4 pounds 30, 11 30, and 190. And on the fourth, 240. The dual forecast, 496 pounds and 30 pence. Non runners, numbers 5 and 25. Balanac, the beaten 7 to 2 favourite, and 20. 26 ran.